Welcome to Paul Brown Stadium in downtown Cincinnati for day seven of Bearcats training camp 2014. Time now for another Tommy T and Tommy G. Chad is the Bearcats scrimmage today. About 150 plays went a little bit longer than maybe you guys expected, but your initial thoughts, Coach? Well, it was a good weather day, and uh, it was good to come out and get into Paul Brown Stadium. You know, we need to be familiar with it. We went a little bit longer than I, I would have hoped, but, you know, we played pretty much four groups, and so our, our ones probably – probably got 40 plays and our, our number two's got 40 plays so that's about three-fourths of a game so uh, you know it was good to come out get our kicking game in and uh, let all the new guys that's never been here get a get a look at uh, where they're going to be playing for their home stadium this year so we got a lot done uh, a little bit di disappointed giving up too many big plays on defense but uh, made uh, made sure that uh, you know as we look at it our offense was able to execute right. you know and that's good to some to some degree but uh, you want it to be about 50 50 today I thought the offense won yeah you, you just told your team in the locker room afterwards that you felt the offense won in the spring and the defense won a lot of these scrimmages what did the offense do well that you think gave them the edge well I thought we pass protected pretty good we we, we probably feel a little bit more than, than than we than we anticipated but we got in some third downs we completed a lot of third down throws you know our receivers got the ball well made some plays after the catch which is good uh, we had some pretty good runs, but it you know it was just good to see our offensive line protect and good to see Munchie out today yeah. making plays and and uh, you know uh, Gunner Kill made some plays uh, and you know and uh, Jared Evans you know we're gonna have we'll have some decisions to make at quarterback but that's always good. What's your timeline to make that decision and name a starter? Probably about a week and a half. You know, heck, we're a month away from playing our first game. Days, yeah, yeah I want at least two good weeks of practice with our ones and twos and the quarterbacks knowing where, what position uh, and how they stand uh, you know on the depth chart so uh, we're not in any hurry we got a, one more week after today at uh, higher ground in camp and and uh, we'll do a lot of technique stuff and a lot of teamwork to see who makes improvement we'll come back next Saturday and have another scrimmage through seven days and eight practices is there one position group that you've seen make really good progress thus far well well of course we knew our offensive line you know, needed some work, and I thought they stepped up today a little bit better than they were in the spring. Uh, but we're working depth there, and that's what you do in camp. You, you you don't just look at your ones; you look at your twos and threes and try to find out who's going to be able to help you during the year because somebody's going to get hurt, somebody's going to get beat up a little bit, turn an ankle or whatever. And remember, last year we we lost three offensive linemen during the season, and we pretty much played with our backup uh, offensive line going in the last couple of games in the bowl game. So uh, we're we're working to build depth and. And at every position, and uh, some positions will have a little bit more th than others. But defensive line is looking good with the depth. The linebackers have depth. The safeties and corners look like we're going to have a little bit more depth. And again, we're working on that kicking game, trying to make it better. As I mentioned, seven straight days of practice. Tomorrow will be your first off day of training camp, and a little bit of a unique situation. Instead of going right back to West Harrison, Indiana, you're letting the guys go see their families, get a home cooked meal, maybe recharge the batteries a little more before taking them back out to campus tomorrow. Yeah, we had family day yesterday, and a lot of the families are still in town, so we'll let them go home tonight. And we've got a lot of work to do as coaches and grading the film, getting ready for tomorrow. And we'll load the buses back up in the morning at 10 o'clock, back at the at uh, UC, and uh, head back to higher ground and hit it for another week, and hopefully we'll have a, a very good scrimmage next Saturday. All right, Coach, sounds good. The Bearcats will begin, be back here at Paul Brown Stadium next Saturday. We'll have continuing coverage all week long right here on Bearcats TV. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thank you. That is head coach Tommy Tuberville. I'm Tom Glitter at Paul Brown Stadium with our new handshake on GoBearcats.com.